Hi everyone. This is another virtual panel event of EFSA's ECRNet. We're going to talk uh, careers in academia in the Atlantic region. And um, we have the wonderful Ali Ajuman who will moderate our panel discussion today. So I'm going to hand it over to Alia and go for it. Thanks. Hi guys, hi, how are you guys? I hope you all are well wherever you are in the world. Um, my colleague asked me to moderate this and the sessions have been really fun so far, so I'm hoping ours can be as well. My name is Aliyah Juman. I am in the outreach department at the University of the West Indies Seismic Research Center. That's in the Caribbean for some of you who may not know. And today I have with me three ladies and a gentleman, and they'll be introducing themselves shortly. And I heard that um, the Pacific edition of Careers in Academia was quite a hit. So I'm hoping our vision can be a really good one as well. So let's start off and I will ask uh, James to do start the introductions for us, please. So you could introduce yourself, your, back, your title and a bit about your background. Thanks, Alia. Hello, everyone. Yeah, so my name is James Hickey. I'm, uh, my job title is a Senior Lecturer in Geophysics and Volcanology, and that's at the University of Exeter. Um, but I'm not actually based in Exeter. We have two campuses for our university, so I'm actually based in, in Cornwall, in England, down by the beaches, which is pretty nice. And then I guess a bit about my background. I did my, um, did my PhD at the University of Bristol, and then I did a very short uh, postdoc stint also at the University of Bristol, and then I moved to my, my current role at the University of Exeter. So yeah, that's me. Cheers. All right, Mariana. Hi everyone. Uh, well, I'm Mariana Jacome. I live in Mexico City. I work as a researcher in the, the National University of, of Mexico. I did my PhD here in the same institute, uh, based in the geochemistry of volcanic fluids. And I did some academic stays in Sicily, in the INGV, with um, also working with geochemistry of fluids. So here I, I teach and I, research, I do research. Oh, nice. Ellen? Hi, everyone. Um, so I'm Hélène Lemével. Uh, I work at the Carnegie Institution for Science. Uh, my job title is a staff scientist, which uh, basically means a researcher, so permanent researcher at the Carnegie Institution. Uh, my background, uh, I got my uh, Master of Geophysics, Master of Science in, uh, in Paris, in France at IPGP, and my PhD from uh, the University of Wisconsin in Madison in geophysics as well. All right, and we'll have Julia round the net off. Hello, welcome everyone. So I'm Julia Echten. Uh, I work in France, in Clermont-Ferrand. Uh, I'm working between a volcanology department and a biology department. So I have a background in physical volcanology, but I'm also interested in the impact on health of uh, volcanic emissions. Um, so my position is a researcher. I uh, do full research. I don't have any teaching. And uh, my background, so I did, a, um, I did a PhD in France in physical volcanology. And then I, I did uh, four different postdocs in three different countries, <laughs> including uh, the US, uh, uh, the University of Bristol in the UK and uh, back in France for two more postdocs before to, uh, to get the position I am in now. So that's for me. I think if it's one thing, our careers um, takes us to very many different places around the world, which is something that's always a really cool thing, I guess, for, for us. Um, so thanks guys to the introduction. And now let's get into what people would tend to want to know about us. So uh, my second question to you guys is, what's your typical day like in your office? And most importantly, how do you balance your research with whatever other activity you may have? 
So Mariana, I would like to start with you and then I'll go to Ellen, James and Julia. So Mariana, take it away. Yes. Well, my typical day starts with my dog staring me <laughs> at me, just looking at me. Uh, so I start with him. Uh, then, um, uh, well, after going out and do some exercise in the morning, I go to the institute by subway or by bicycle, and I start to, I mean, to do my, my stops. I can manage my time between the lab and the time in front of the computer because we don't have like a schedule for that and depends of if I have samples or not to, to process in the lab. And uh, I think I, I, that is, I, it's a lot of freedom here in the, in the, in the Institute. And well, then in the, in the afternoon after 6 p.m., I, I do some yoga or walk with friends. Well, I, well not in this moment, but uh, typically, no? So, well, that's um, uh, the, uh, my day life. Um, and when I have some classes to teach, well, I have all, all these um, classes with a fixed uh, time in the, in the week, but um, depends on the, of the semester. So, Alain, do you want to take it over and see what you do? Yeah. So uh, I also, I do not have any teaching duty. So my typical day is going to be spent uh, doing research. So on whatever project I'm working at the moment. Um, I also have very few, I'm lucky to have very few administrative duties. So it's really just research. So imagine like a postdoc, but uh, full time. <laughs> um, I also do field work, but uh, obviously not now. Um, but it's not most, most of my time is spent in front of a computer working on uh, some data, data analysis or modeling. Uh, yeah, basically conducting my research. Uh, I have a lot of freedom in uh, the way I arrange my time. So uh, I guess there's no typical day and depending on the period of the year, I might be writing proposals. So I spend also some uh, amount of time writing proposals and collaborating with other people on different projects. I also sometimes co-advise a student uh, from my colleague, my colleagues who work at universities uh, generally. So I co-advise student and I also mentor uh, some postdocs. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. We say also, and we keep adding on and then you realize it's quite a lot that we do. So um, Julia, do you <laughs> We just say research, but it ends up being quite a lot when you keep on thinking about it. So Julia, do you want to tell us a bit more about what your typical day is like? Yeah, so, uh, so my days are very variable. Uh, it depends. Uh, so I, I do some practical work. So if I'm in the volcanology department, that means uh, preparing some samples or doing some uh, uh, physical chemical analysis on, uh, on samples. When I'm in the biology department, I'm doing some cell culture and um, biochemistry and uh, molecular biology uh, uh, stuff. Uh, but I also do some um, work on computers like data analysis or some, some basic uh, modeling. Um, then a lot of my time is also about writing papers or writing grant proposal. That takes uh, quite a, a bit uh, of time. Um, and I also have some what I call gray tasks <laughs> that can be uh, either administration. So, for example, uh, dealing with budgets or ordering uh, some goods uh, if I need some, some, some stuff uh, for either the lab or, or, or organizing travel. Um, also, perhaps sometimes um, managing projects. So that means organizing meetings and uh, and brainstorming with some colleagues. And, and then so in my department, there's a lot of um, like uh, joint activities like seminars or, um, and, so, uh, and so that's so every week, uh, I have at least one or two seminars to attend. Okay, nice. As I say, it keeps building up, doesn't it? When you really think about it. So James, you want to finish us off about what your typical day is like? Yeah, cool. So um, like many academics, I don't really have a typical day. Things seem to 
change from day to day, particularly more at the moment. Um, so I guess I'll focus on more on the second half of the question about balancing um, research, teaching and admin. And to be honest, the short answer to that is I do it really poorly. Um, I have, I mean, like many um, academic positions in the UK, I'm supposed to have roughly like a one third split research, one third split teaching, one third split admin. Um, but in, in like realistic terms, research is the one that gets squeezed the most um, because I have students waiting on me that are sort of relying on me to teach them and I've got students relying on me to supervise them and I've got a department that's relying on me for admin roles that I do for our, for our department like recruitment, outreach, um, student welfare, student support type things. So um, I guess most of my time gets pushed towards those and the research that I do for myself is the thing that gets, that gets squeezed out the most because there's not so many people um, relying on my, my research. Just a few collaborators compared to tens and twenties and whatever numbers of students. Um, so yeah, that's the, I guess the honest truth about my balance and typical day. Yeah, I think if it's one thing that we always have a struggle with is the research or the admin task or the gray areas, as Julia referred to them, it's it's often a bit difficult, but we somehow find a way to do it all. And as you said, it's really not a typical day for us researchers. <laughs> 